Welcome to the Simplified Stamper. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hi everybody. Thank you for joining the Simplified Stamper. My name is Kimberly and I am so excited to bring you my latest card design. I think this is so pretty. We're going to be using varied vases. This is a um, my five and one fourth by four inch card panel and we're going to make our own background with it. If you don't have these sponge daubers, they're awesome. I love them. In the catalog, you'll actually see that they show an example of making dots with them. And I thought, well, why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. So we're baking a dotted background on our card panel. And let's see this, put one over here, uh, one right there. That looks about right, right there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along our edges and I'm going to get them a little darker and I'm probably going to go onto the card front as well, just a smidge. But what this does is it gives um, a nice definition between your card panel and your card base. So we're just going to go along here, make it nice and dark. Okay, and if I want, I can kind of slowly blend that in along the edge of the card, bring it onto the, the front. And the subtleness of it is really nice and it will bring in depth. On this, this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock in a size three by one inch. So we're not using a lot of white cardstock here. And we're gonna kinda just wing it. We'll just bring it, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how much is on the bottom. There we go. How high to put it in here. Cause we're gonna put flowers in here. And we're using Memento ink for the um, vase and for these to stamp this little sprig of flowers or flower buds, I guess. I'm gonna get my head in the way again for just one second. And okay. And what I'm going to do to um, I'm gonna put a little. I hadn't wasn't going to, but because I have enough empty space there and the flowers ended up so high, I'm gonna put a little table on here. So let's see. Let's see. Let's do about like that. Okay. And now I'm just going to place that table on there. Oh, see now it's not floating. There we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, this has a solid stamp where you can solid stamp the water and it fills it all up, but I didn't want to do that. We're going to be rebels and we're just going to use Bermuda Bay and a blender pen. When you're using your blender pens, you have to kind of work in like, it doesn't get smooth like your alcohol markers. And honestly, it kind of makes it a different look and it's fun. So we're just going to kind of take this water and we're going to bring it down and if you go in one place too much it kind of um, will mar your paper so you got to keep it moving and you can't keep going over it and but I really like the way this looks for different things I'm doing another one another card for you here in the next couple of days you'll see um, where I colored in some flowers and um, I just love the way it looks different. It looks textured. So we're gonna bring that up around the edge. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna start fading into itself and I'm just gonna... And I think it, for this particular look, it really looks a lot like water. I'm, after it dries, I'm gonna actually go over it again, but we'll see. And then we're gonna use the blender pen again 
in Calypso Coral. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda, almost like you would stamp off, you just kinda brush off of it a little bit. And I'm gonna take these and just almost like dots. They don't need to be um, filled in perfectly. Especially since this, uh, these spaces are so small, having the varied color gives them dimension. So you don't want them solid. Some of it lighter, some of it darker. I tried to put the darker stuff at the bottom, kind of like a bud. That's a really pretty, and you can see some are darker, some are lighter. Um, but they'll have that varied variation. And if you look, now my water is um, dried a little bit. It blends even better. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and mat this with some uh, so saffron paper. There we go. And then, just for giggles, we're going to um, mount it onto one of these. And I think, yeah, so we'll go ahead and mount it on here. All right, we are done there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, triple banner punch. Oh, how pretty is that? Okay. Get that down. I haven't used this particular, thanks. This comes with that stamp set. Oh my gosh, it stamps so perfect. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna try to turn this to see if I can see better so I don't have to get my head in your way all the way. Okay, maybe I'm gonna. Oh, and I got off. Okay, this is okay. We will fix it. Look at this. And that's what happens when I can't see what I'm doing. See, I knew it would stamp. It's just me. We survived. Woot woot. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to bring our panel back in. And we are going to... We can just put it like this. And I think it would be just fine. But to add some interest, we are not only going to pop it up... Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of dimensionals. Hold on, I'll go get them. So we're going to put some dimensionals on... Here, so right here. Because it came off, I'll use it. There we go. And then another thing we're going to do is we're going to stick just a smidge of Terran tape right here. And it's going to help me not lose my mind trying to keep the thread from going everywhere. So what we're going to use is this um, metallic thread. It comes in like 50 yards for like 350. Best investment ever. I use it a lot. And you just kind of, I don't know, open your fingers up and kind of make it um, big because you want a big loop. There we go. And then I make sure that my one end is facing this way and my other end is facing the other way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of grab it in the center. It's not a science, I promise. So, kind of grabbed it in the center, back in there. It's like ultra fine. And then, let's put it this way. It sticks. Oh, see how cute that is? And it's just a hot mess. Okay, so then what we're going to do is take this paper off of our dimensionals, which are a must for every card making experience. I think everything looks better with the dimension. I think, let's see. And then, we're going to, whoops, wrong way. 
We're going to pop this up right here along the top. There we go. I think I'm a little crooked. Okay, come here. No one else would think it's crooked, but you know. There we go. And then we're going to get our card base. Now we're going to stick this on here. And if, I found if you get your, your top and your sides even, the bottom will naturally lay flat on its own. Okay, here's our finished card. Tell me what you think. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye -bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can find more of the Simplified Stamper on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.